I just want to tell y'all something about myself, and this is going to come across as offensive, and I'm sorry if I offend anybody, but I'm not sorry about how I feel about this. I am an atheist, and I do not believe in any divine beings. I do not believe that I need a spiritual being to be the reason I exist, the purpose I have, or to be the guiding light to my day, or the reinforcement of my beliefs, or all of the other things that a divine figure serves for people. I do not need the dogma that comes with it, the rules that govern the daily life that tell me what is good and what is bad and what I should do and what I should not do and when. I do not need these things because I can see for myself what is virtuous and what is not. Based on empathy, I can look at a person and I can understand the actions that will make them cry and the actions that will make them laugh and what will make them angry. And I can adjust what I do based on that. I can try not to hurt people because I know I do not wish to be hurt empathy. I do not wish to be hurt, thus I do not wish to hurt other people. It's cyclical what happens, and that's logic. I can simply deduce through gut reaction, observation, and an empathy what is right and what is wrong based on human interaction. I can see that if I punch somebody, they will suffer, thus I should not make people suffer. If I am punched, I will suffer. It's that simple. I do not need a god to tell me these things. I do not need an afterlife or such a guarantee of an outcome after death. I do not need that because I am comfortable with nothingness, oblivion being the ultimate end for my soul. I'm comfortable with life being a light switch that when flipped off is just off. That's fine. I'm done. In fact, to me, that gives life an extra meaning because it is limited and brief. But because once it is over, you are done. Everything you do has immediate meaning that, that will never happen again, and there's nothing better. That is now, and that will never be that again, because of the finite mortality of existence. One day, you will not be at all, and thus everything you do while you are is immediately and amazingly important. For if there was a heaven or an afterlife to sit there and this is where you go afterwards and it's much better than life and all of that stuff, then what you do now is almost pointless. You've taken life and turned it into a triviality and without evidence. Really, then, you've taken life and turned it into a test. It's just, it's nothing more than a high school SAT designed to weed out the idiots. A faith doesn't need that. I don't need that. And since that seems to be a quality that pretty much every faith has, where this life is less relevant, or this life is only a guiding post to other places, then I have no interest. Life is now. And for those faiths out there who don't have that idea, I grant you that. Not every faith does have this view, but enough do where I make this issue of it. For those who don't, I have other reasons. Now another problem, quite simply, is that there are so many faiths. There are so many different religions that offer the one true path, the one right way. Some have been disproven over time. You'll find a few, you know, people worshipping Zeus or Odin still, but really those religions are dead. They have been more or less discarded. Zoroastrianism is another one that has been tossed to the winds. And faiths have come and they've gone through the course of history. Every one of them proclaiming they are the right way. They know the truth. And what makes any other faith different from these ones that collect sand in the dust of time? Nothing. You've proven that your faith has nothing different to offer than anyone else's faith. Yours is no more the one true path in my eyes than any other faith. What about Brahmin? What about Vishnu, the Hindus? You know, what makes them wrong? What makes yours right? Another thing is faith. I don't need to have faith. I want logic, reason, facts. I want answers. I want questions that have immediate answers that I can touch, feel, see, grasp, and understand. I don't want a God works in mysterious ways or that's just how it is kind of answer. No, I want to know why, when, if it can be different. What happens if this happens? No, I want to know the details. I want to get into the guts of the operation. And when we have something like faith that says this fact is indisputable no matter what, like for many instances, God is the undeniable fact, where we just cannot disbelieve the core tenets of the religion. That is the faith. You must believe these things no matter what. That takes them out of scrutiny. Anything that is removed from scrutiny, to me, must be immediately treated as suspect. Why can't we scrutinize it? Is it not true? Will it not hold up on its own? Why must we not question this? It makes me question immediately. If there's something I cannot question, I ask why. And my first answer is, does it not hold up? That's my first guess. Does it not hold up to scrutiny then? 
And if you do wish to come at me with the argument that, oh, you're just a believer in a different religion, that science one, well then, if you wish to call that a religion and bend the argument that way, fine. At least my religion then allows for change and evolution of belief. Someone can come to me and say, this formula proves that what you're saying is wrong. And due to the tenets of my so-called faith, I must say, I am wrong. You are right. You have proven it. That is what science demands. When the proof is there, you must accept the evidence. The scientific method demands it. And this is the tenets of the faith you choose to ascribe to me? Then you may call me a faithful. So be it. My faith answers to reason. To put all of this very succinctly, I am a person who does not believe in divinity, divine beings, gods, or other such things. I don't see any reason for me to believe in any of the religions, so I choose to believe in none.